Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. In this video, I wanted to show you the basics of how to set up the demonstration recorder for imitation learning in Unity ML Agents version 0.13. If you've never used Unity ML Agents before or heard of it, make sure you check out the uh, link in the description below. I will show you something that will actually help you understand it because this video will not get you there. Uh, for everyone else, so this is for imitation learning like behavior cloning and Gale, uh, generative adversarial imitation learning. Basically, all I'm going to do is show you how to set it up, how to uh, connect a demonstration recorder, how to record some demonstrations, how to compare them to the example projects, and then how to uh, attach that uh, new demonstration that you just recorded. So what we're looking at here is the push block example. And this is in the ML agents directory under examples and push block. And then it's in this scene. I just opened the push block one, not the visual push block. And this is version 0.13 of Unity ML agents. So just note that if it has changed since I recorded this video, then things might be slightly different. Hopefully they're pretty much the same. So I chose this example. Um, and just as a quick overview, the, the way that this example works is uh, there's a little character in the center and its goal is to push this white block into the green area. There's a bunch of them because when we train ML agents, we typically do many training runs at the same time. So this one apparently does quite a bit better if you give it some demonstrations and they have a setup in the Gale config. So this is in the, I'll just show you really quick. This is in the ML agents directory and it's under config, um, under Gale config. And Gale stands for generative adversarial imitation learning. And basically this just adds some settings to make it use demonstrations. So I wanna scroll down to the push block one and just show you the the way that they sort of show which demonstration to use. So it uses this reward signal of Gale, and it has a strength and a gamma and encoding size, and then a demo path. So this demo path is pointing to a user demonstration. And demos, if we hop back up to here, it's in this directory under demos. So these are all expert demonstrations that they've added in the ML agents repository. So what I'm gonna show you is now how to create your own demo. So back in Unity, you have to pick one of your areas here, and I'm going to shift select all, select all of these and just disable them so that they're not in the way. And we're going to need to provide demonstrations. So the only way you can provide demonstrations as, is if you have some way of the user controlling the agent, which fortunately there is. So inside of here, we have an agent and this agent has a, um, let's see, push agent basic script on it. This is in the source code here, this push agent basic class. And I just wanted to show you, so this is all of the code that they wrote to make this sort of scene work. But in particular, this part is interesting. So the move agent is what does the actual movement. Um, and it can either be fed in a float array of, um, or it can only be fed in a float array, but it is fed in either from the neural network or from the player via this heuristic function. So heuristic is like, if we want the user to control this thing, then we do this setup here so that this is just using basic inputs. It's gonna ask for if the key that's being pressed down is the D key, then it's going to apply a certain type of movement. W, A, S, and D are the movement buttons that they've set up to control movement. And then once this is figured out which buttons are pressed, then it's going to return that value to this uh, move agent function. So if we just press play as is, this isn't going to, well, it'll work. I'll just show you really quick. It'll work, but it's going to use the neural network model that's um, specified under behavior parameters. And this one seems to be fully trained, so it's able to push this block 
into the the right place. But if we want to provide a demonstration, then we need to change the behavior type to heuristic only. And then I'm going to hit play. And we'll see how good I am at this. Okay, so probably not going to be as good as the neural network because I haven't been training for as long. Um, but basically, I'm using my arrow keys to uh, push this block into the place where it needs to be. Or I'm saying arrow keys. What I mean is the W, A, S, and D keys to, to control that. So basically, um, I'm doing okay. I'm not as fast, but it that's kind of the idea here is that I would provide some demonstrations for the block or for this to push the block into the right place. And then it learns from that behavior and gets better and better over time um, using that imitation learning. So to set or to start actually recording a demonstration, all we have to do is add a new component and we're going to type in demonst demonstration recorder. And we just want to add this demonstration recorder script. It will record any time that this box is checked and you're playing. So I'm going to give this a demonstration name and I'll just call it my demo. And I'm going to check this box and then I'm going to hit play. Okay, so now it's recording and I just have to make sure I don't mess up too much. Don't want to push it into the corner or something. And so you want to record for some amount of time. I'm not going to bore you with how much recording it actually might need, but I'm going to hit play. Okay, so now I've recorded a demonstration. And where that goes actually is in the assets directory. Uh, well, maybe it goes under ML agents. Actually, I think it's it's just not updated yet. Let me open this in Explorer. I'm going to right click and show in Explorer. That should open up the folder inside assets. Yeah. Okay. So this demonstrations folder, I don't know quite what it takes to update this uh, unity thing, but this is where it went. And here's my demo. So that's in the assets directory under demonstrations. So this demo here is about 184 kilobytes. Um, and just for reference, I wanted to show you that the demo here for expert push is 2,232 kilobytes. So um, quite a big difference there. I think that I they probably gave a lot more demonstrations, but that's essentially how you would create this demonstration. Now I think, okay, now, now it's showing up. You can actually look, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. You can look and you can show how many experiences it has captured, how many episodes and the average reward that you got, all these different things. I'm going to try and drag in. I haven't tried this, uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to drag this in just to see the, the difference. Okay, so now you can see that this one had 2,558 experiences and 96 episodes compared to the one that I created significantly less. So you might want to experiment. I'm sure it completely depends on your problem and how much you know time you need to spend demonstrating, but you can at least get a rough idea of how much is needed for this particular problem. So that's really all there is to it. Um, you create this demonstration and then you need to copy this basically. You can copy it and then you can go to your demos folder under ML agents, and you can just paste this in. And then you can train as usual. I would just swap out this my demo and then in the configuration file. And then I would just have to run the ML agents learn and then specify this Gale config and then make sure that it's pointing to the correct file. So that should be the basics of how to get it working. Of course, once you've finished your recording, uh, you would want to go ahead and remove this component and also switch your, uh, where is it? Switch the behavior type back to default, and then you're back and ready to go. And you can use your trained neural network, uh, that was based on the demonstration you did. Hopefully this was helpful. 
Uh, love to hear feedback. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks.